Okay, all right. Look, I think the problem here is that you're just, you're not understanding you're not understanding how these guys are looking at you, right? Because like, I know you think you're being nice, I know you think they're being nice, but they're not. They're being, right? You need, you need to pull over. Why? It's Brian, not you for need us. To pull over. There's the no way it's for us. There is for us. He's right behind us. Brian, pull over. over. Don't grab the wheel. Pull over. I am gonna pull over. Pull right? over yes, then. I'm pulling it's over. It's the law. Then turn the vehicle off for me. Go ahead and set your keys on the dash for me, okay? What's your guys' names? Gabby. Brian Laundry. Gabby? Brian? Okay. What's going on? How come you're crying? You. CW Post. Hey! Oh my gosh! It's so nice to see you. That's cool. Living that, that city life. You'd love it, I'm telling you. Just come visit. Something about it. Yeah. Brian? Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Brian. Holy crap. Gabby. Uh, hey! I did not expect to see you here. You know this loser? As a matter of fact, I do. We were really good friends in high school. Yeah, we were. <laughs> wow, I, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's been a minute. But I am um, I'm really glad to see you. Yeah, I'm gladder. Gladder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you totally ghosted me. Mm, there's no way that I ghosted you. I mean, like... Why the hell would I? Look at you. <laughs> Please, I haven't heard from you in like two years. You know, I don't know if you've heard, but they have these things called cell phones where friends can keep in touch, and I didn't even get like an emoji. Oh, an emoji? Okay. Hmm, interesting, because I, yeah, I didn't get an emoji from you either. So these things work both ways. Fair enough. I don't know. I mean, I graduated, and you had another year, and I, I thought you were into what's his face. Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve. <laughs> Steve is gay. For real? Yes, for real. We were just friends. Oh, then I'm just an idiot. Yeah, I don't know about that. But we are oh. definitely not making the same mistake twice. Gabby, I'll pick you up Friday at 7. Mm-hmm. I had no idea how bad you said with this. Ow. What? Do you want me to go get the guy? I haven't kept the bumpers for you. Wow, you keep going like this, and I will start crying, and then I will never share my talents with you. Oh, tell me about these talents. Oh my god, where do I even start? Did you know that I can solve the maze on the back of any menu? Wow, you're like a super genius. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I just uh, come to you, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I played this game twice, so <laughs> come a little slack, young lady. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, one thing is for sure. Yeah. I've actually been thinking a lot about like social media. You know, like being an influencer. Oh yeah. And you want to be like a Kardashian? Ew. Not like that. Like, um. Like a real life influencer, you know, like how to live a happy, healthy life. That sounds great. Who knows what the future holds? <laughs> well, I already know what my future holds, so. Yeah? Uh, yeah. It's uh, spending as much time as I possibly can around you. Gabby, you want to know the real reason why I didn't call you after high school? It was 
it was too hard to just be friends. Well, why wouldn't I have gone out with you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you could have gone out with anybody. I... Stop. No. Well, we perfect girls need dates too, you know. is a little nutty for some mysterious reason everyone seems to get along so I've got my mom and my stepdad Jim and then my dad and my stepmom Kara so two moms and two dads right right I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna say that I get it so what is it you said you did again Brian um landscaping mostly these days yeah so you mow yards uh yeah um well I mean there's a little more than that because I also work at the nursery so <gasps> And is that part-time, full-time? Uh, part-time, okay. yeah. I'm still, still figuring it out. You know? Yeah, you know, like me. <laughs> Thanks. So, you wanna pour it in here? Oh, look at this. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How great is he? Oh, wow, look at him. Yeah, <clears throat> I like him, he seems like a nice guy. I like them too. Yeah? You guys getting serious? I don't know. I mean, like, what's serious? I mean, I like him a lot. Why? Do you think he's not, like, getting serious material? Oh, watch out. The tea's hot. No, I said I like him. And? What? Mom. <laughs> Nothing. No, I just. I found you were such a Gen Xer. Yeah. Okay, so you don't? Well, Brian's like me, you know? He takes life as it comes. Why does he have to have a retirement plan already? It's just that sometimes when they take life as it comes, it never comes. And I just want to see what the right guy is all. Look, um, Brian is a relief from the other guys I know. I mean, he's not your typical video games and beer pong bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that one. You're happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa. Oh! 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 oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, did I hit you? Because that was a complete and total accident and you can't prove Okay, yes. all right. As long as you know that that was your last one. <laughs> okay. Right. If that's your attitude, lady, I don't even want this pillow. <gasps> okay, no, mm -hmm. that, that actually, mm -hmm. that was an accident. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, Crush I swear. Destroy. I swear. Oh, no, no. You good? I give. You good? No, oh. <laughs> you don't want to wake sorry. my stepdad at 1 a.m. Yep, I know. <laughs> uh, might be for the best, put me out of my misery. <laughs> really? Are you miserable? I mean, I am. She gotta know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, look. <clears throat> uh, moving to Florida. What? Yep, next month. I, I don't want to, obviously. But, Florida, why? Be my parents are moving down there and I have to go with them. Again, why? Because I don't have any money, Gabby. <laughs> like. Not enough to get my own place. And next month? Brian, when were you going to tell me about hey, look, this? look, this has been killing me. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, like, the last thing that I want to do is leave. Yeah, well then don't, okay? Okay? We just... We just need to think of a way wow. for you to stay here. Well, I have thought of a couple of things. All right, well, let's hear it. If I thought I had a chance in the world, I would try to convince you to move with me, but that's... That's crazy. I know that. Why? Why is that so crazy? Because I'm not going to ask you to uproot your entire life. Well, I mean, maybe it's time. You'd want to live with me, my parents, in Florida. <laughs> sure. I mean, why 
why not? You know, we'll we'll both go down there and and get jobs, and if we're working, we can get our own place after a while. You know, it'll be exciting. Wait, hold. On. I'm sorry. You, you, you'd come with me. <laughs> well, yeah. I love you, Brian. I love you, Gabby. <laughs> I really Florida before. I mean, come on, this is this is different. Everyone we grew up with, they are they're staying in Long Island. We are doing what we said. We're trailblazers, man. <laughs> yeah, man. They're gonna write songs about us. Us oh. kill? Come on, new beginnings. Don't you feel it? I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I have the best news. Okay, hit me. What's the best news? I got a job at the cute new ice cream place. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is this like national news or just local <laughs> oh, level? shut up. I'm happy. Ow. Well, you already work at the supermarket with me, so well, I don't... I know, but the pay is more and the hours are better, plus I get tips. Yeah, but I thought the whole point of us being down here was that we would be together, right? Well, babe, because... we're not not together. Look, it's a good thing, Brian. I just, I found a new job. You know, we can save more. We can move out of here, give your parents their house back. Seriously, Gabby, don't take this job. I'm, I mean, like, guys are gonna come in there. They're gonna come in all the time and hit on you. It... <laughs> okay, come on, Mr. Jealous. Nobody floats in person anymore. I'm just, I'm trying to tell you that. And I'm telling you that I will tell all the guys that come in there to hit on me that I am already taken by the best guy in the whole world. Okay? Yeah, okay. All right, so? What do we think? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, what's not to like? It's got, it's got everything. Well, it's a little small, don't you think? Gabby, we're two people. Like. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's really close to the highway. It's pretty noisy. I'm... Well, yeah, because the window's open, so we just, you know, we like close that. See there? It's better. Come on, this place it checks like every box. I mean, we can. Fit a zillion friends in his living room. Hey, what friends? Well, I like it. Um, no, I'm not feeling it. Hey, um, what did you, what did you mean by what friends? What? The thing you just said? Oh, well, just that. We don't have any friends down here, that's all. Yeah, it's just, it was the way you said it. And how did I say it? Like, I'm monopolizing all of your time, like you're blaming me for that, it felt <laughs> fair. Oh my gosh, read into it much? No, I just, you know, we, we just got here. You know, we haven't made any friends down here yet. That's all I'm saying, I'm not blaming you. Okay, whatever, screw it. We'll find another place. What, well, Brian, I didn't say, I, I did Hey, what's up? Nothing, I'm fine. No, you're you're clearly upset. What did I say? I just, it's just, we've seen like a million with me. Maybe that's it, because you don't want to work with me, you don't want to live with me, and now you're saying that we have, well, don't have any friends, so like what, you're just stuck with me? What am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that I'm picky, and you are supposed to take that as a compliment. Okay? Okay. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. I... Well, we all gotta release the Kraken sometimes. I don't know why I get like that, but <laughs> you've gotta admit, like, we have seen a lot of places, so I'm just... What? You know what? Let's take it. Let's, let's take the apartment. Oh, are, are you sure? Yeah, you know? Yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. I'll make it work. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Mm. Got it.
Hey. Um, are you all right? Well, yes, what do you need? Because you were supposed to be home an hour ago, so. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Well, because I called you five times and you just didn't pick up, so I would. Well, babe, you know I can't take calls when I'm working. My phone's in my locker. Right, I want to talk to you. About what? A couple of things. Okay. Um, see, um, I'm off in an hour. Is everything okay? It sounds a little ominous. No, I, yeah, everything's fine. I just um, want to tell you something. Uh, okay. Okay, hmm? you gotta tell me what's going on. You're kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm really nervous because I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you're gonna respond. Well, you can tell me anything. Wait, did I do something? No, no. Are you in trouble? Yeah, I'm in big trouble. What? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I have been doing some thinking, and I realized that I don't have a reason to get out of bed in the morning without you beside me. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Well, yeah, how do I know that? Because <laughs> you're... You're my everything, Gabby. Oh, you're mine too, Brian. Okay, good. So, um, I I've been thinking that maybe we should, um, uh, normally there's a ring in what I'm gonna ask you next, but I still have a little bit of saving to do, so. <laughs> Gabby, you're the love. <laughs> All of this will have been a dream. Marry me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sick of this thing. What thing? This ridiculous COVID. I'm done with it. And how are we ever supposed to put our wedding together? Well, we don't need to invite a thousand people, you know? Like, we can do something small with friends and family, or, like, not even that, you know? What do you mean? Well, we don't need a big wedding, Gabby. We can do something, like, just for us. We can go to City Hall. What? No. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not getting married at some courthouse wearing a mask and rubber gloves. Okay, well, if this thing lasts for another year, like, how long are we gonna wait? <laughs> Hold Let's on, go. let me get it set. Can't see. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, where you at? Oh, I'm just goofing around with Rose. You ruined our TikTok. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know how much I hate to ruin cultural masterpieces. Shut up, you. So, uh, when are you coming home? Uh, I don't know. Me too. I was thinking maybe we could do, like, dinner. Okay. I've gone a whole hour without bugging you. Mm, well, what can I say? He's just like so in love with me. Who can blame him? Got him puke? No. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. You want to go again? Yeah, let's go again. Okay. I think we should make a video. Uh, no, I don't think it was okay. I don't like it, but I think we can do it. I thought it was really good. I was struggling. Oh, look at my handsome man. Hi, Brian. Mm. Hello, Rose. Hey, baby. Yeah? I'm going line dance with the rose, so I gotta change your Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I just made dinner for us. That's like that's why I was trying to call you, but you hung up on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really, I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm so sweet. Too. Mm. Isn't he just the best boyfriend ever? He is just a dream belt. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hey, you know what? We'll have dinner together before we go, okay? I'll be right back.
You girl is gonna have a fun time tonight? Oh, yeah, you betcha. It's gonna be lit. You're gonna have a super sick Gucci time. Oh, it's gonna be like so gold, Ryan. That's great. That's really, really great. So why does it bother you so much if Gabby has a good time? Uh, it doesn't bother me. I just, I'd like to see my fiance every now and again. Oh, come on, Brian. Dancing, you don't like dancing. Like, mm, deal with it. Hey, Rose, who are you? Because there's me, Brian, and then there's Gabby, my fiance, and, and then there's you, Rose, with the input. Rosie Rose, I can't decide. Yes, both cute, that one. I don't Put know, it on. I have more upstairs. Will you okay. help me pick, please? Put it on, I'll, I'll see. But, yeah, Are you sure? I have one with flowers, and I think I like one. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie, Rose, 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 You just left it at home. Yeah, but why would I take it out at home? Like... Damn it. How do you not get what a violation that is? It was just a prank. No, it wasn't, Ryan. You clearly didn't want me to go anywhere without you, so you steal my ID? No one said you couldn't go with us. Oh, and what, sit in the corner be bored all night? I, well, I, like, so what, I, I can't hang out with my friends now? I, that's not, uh, you can hang out whoever you want. Like, what, what do I care? Did you say that? Well, I mean, look, I, I, I planned this whole night. Like, I made dinner, <sighs> and, and last week, you know, I wanted to go to that comic thing, but, but you had plans with Rose. What, like, Brian, you told me five minutes before I was gonna leave, I would've broken my plans with... Okay, I... I'm sorry, okay? It was wrong, I shouldn't have done it. And look, it's right here, see? I think maybe you need to get back on your meds. What? I love what? you, I know you don't like to talk about it, but they put you on anxiety no. meds for a no, reason. No, this has nothing to do with Ryan, this. this has everything to do with this. You stole my ID, doesn't that seem a little paranoid to you? Oh, God damn it! You, I, you don't call me paranoid. No, 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 you know I hate that word and you're just no. abusing it against me. Sorry. Come in. Come on. You don't have to apologize to me. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> what happened? You know, you just say the wrong word and he loses it. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm so sorry to keep bugging you. You're not this. bugging me. I'm here anytime you need. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, Gabby, I really don't get why you keep putting up with this BS. I really don't. Uh, because, like, I know you don't see it, but, like, like, most of the time, he's, like, a really great guy. You know, like, 99% of the time, things are, like, really good it's just it's just got this chemical imbalance and it's insane jealousy gabby <laughs> well yeah but like you know like like it, it wouldn't be if we were married and and he's he's just frustrated you know like the world stopped and everything's on hold and we can't plan the wedding and i, I can't blame him for that you know because i'm not perfect either so it's
Hey. Hey. So I'm an a-hole. Tell me something I don't know. I currently have an itch in a super embarrassing place. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm really sorry. And that's never gonna happen again. It's already been half a year since I proposed to you. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do you want to hear an idea I had? Always. <laughs> okay. So, here's the thing. We don't know when this plague is going to end. So I was thinking that maybe what we do is we get out. You know, travel cross country, like you said that you wanted to. Well, how are we gonna do that? Well, we saved up a little bit of money and like, look, it's nothing fancy, right? Like we'd be camping, but we'd be living in nature. So I think that we should just, we hit the road and we just see what happens. You know what I think? I think that is the best idea I have ever heard in my entire <laughs> life. Yeah? Yeah. I think it'd be really good for us. Oh, wow. <laughs> Although, your car. Whoa, whoa, what's wrong with my car? Love the car, love the car. But I have something else in mind. There she is. Okay, so we bought our used, and I've been sprucing it up in my free time. Wow. It looks, um, yeah. Looks cozy. <laughs> We're not living in it. We're living in it. We want to get too quickly. These tables that go up and down, and then we put cubbies and house plants. There's even room for our tent for when we want to camp outside. I mean, isn't this, like, the coolest thing you've ever seen? Yes. It is very, very <clears throat> cool. Yeah, there's like this whole culture now called van life. It's like actually pretty popular. People just like pack up their life and hit the road. But you're not planning on living the rest of your life this way though, right? What? Like, can I just be young for like a little while? Okay, okay, yeah. I'm just being a mom. You go be young. Okay, I love you. I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> Bye. Hello, everybody. Uh, I can't sleep. It's really, really late. I'm leaving for our trip tomorrow, and I am just so excited. I mean, Brian and I have no idea what this trip is going to be like, and I think that's the fun of it. See you on the trail. You're gonna leave me to fend for myself. Come on, it's four months. You're gonna take four months in a five foot square box with a little bummer boy? Oh, wow. You've really been saving that one up for me, huh? Just need the right occasion for it. Look, we wanna spend the rest of our life together. You know, if we can't make it a couple of months in close contact, we're in big trouble. Oregon Trail! Whatever. Send me lots of pics. Yeah? You're gonna FaceTime me. Whatever you want. Whenever I want. Yes. Okay, I promise. You have no saying that. I know. Okay, I really do love you. Okay, I'm gonna miss you. Okay. I'm gonna see you soon. Okay. Yes. Yes. You're gonna call me. You're gonna FaceTime. Text me. All the things. All the things. Mwah. I love you. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Rose looks great in the rear view mirror. The rear view mirror. The rear view mirror.
You get it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let me see. Okay. Uh, can we do one more? Why? It's perfect. Well, it could be more perfect. Please, one more. One more. One more. Okay. Really fast, oh, really fast, fast, okay? Hold on. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Ryan is just stretching, doing some morning yoga. Hello, hello, and good morning. Um, it is really nice and sunny today. Me and Brian just got up. I think me and Brian just me and Brian just got up. And good morning. What is that? Hmm? This is from my blog. You have a blog now? Are you serious? Now you really got to start paying attention. Oh, right. This is for your um, influencer empire? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yes, funny man. I'm sharing our trip with the world. I thought you understood van life. Why would the world care about our trip? I mean, like, why, why would anybody? Because it's cool. I've been posting everything on Instagram since we left. I've got almost a thousand followers. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but a thousand followers on the internet is kind of sad. <laughs> well, it's just getting started. I mean, it wasn't even 200 a week ago. And you know how these things work. Once you gain enough followers, you can monetize. Okay. Well, not going to count our money just yet. Brian, why are you trying to discourage me? I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just like, you know, trying to manage your expectations. Why would anybody want to watch our vacation pics? Never mind, you, you don't get it. No, I totally get it. We're hashtag van lifers. Yas. Why don't you want to expand your life and grow? Good, you should put that up I, online. I, I, I don't want to commercialize, all right? That's... <sighs> okay, all right, yeah, let's see. Let's see what the legions of followers of Gabby the Great have to say today, right? Wow, congratulations. You've made a virtual men's room wall. No. No. Yeah, why don't you dump the cue ball? Because I love the cue ball. Shut up. It's true. There are men is just like so over. I can't tell you from the rock. You done? Or Jason Statham? No. Or Vin no, Diesel? No, 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 <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out the rest of the market. Bye. Have a good one. Can you please try not to track dirt and sand into the van? You know, we're camping in the wilderness, Gabby, so like... All right, so I don't understand why you have to be so OCD. It's just like, it's just a little dirt. You're in a great mood. Well, yeah, because I saw you flirting with that guy back there. What? What guy? The, oh, oh this, mm, this peach is my life guy. Uh, oh, wait, he's a produce guy? Yeah. Oh, that, he was just being friendly. That's oh, his job. Oh, my God, he's so stupid. Really? Like, I, I, I was right there. I mean, like, that's what guys do, but you're just like, oh, everyone's so nice. All those guys on the internet, they're just being goofy. You know, what is wrong with you? You always have to find something to fight about. Yeah, because I'm sick of this. I'm not dealing with this right now. No, 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 you don't get to shut me out. I have every right to be pissed at you. Let go of me. I want to get my laptop. Why, so you can read more comments about how hot you are? Brian. Right. Let go of me! All right, we're gonna walk away from each other right now because you need to calm down. I want to get in the van! Oh, well, you're not gonna, all right? Hey, hey, hey! Would you stop? Would you stop it? Stop it. Calm down. Oh. Oh. How you like that, huh? Gabby, 
Okay. We're causing a scene right now. Causing a scene. Okay, so we need to get out of here right now. Get in the van. Get in the van. Get in the van. Get in the van. Get Come on, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. What's your emergency? Yeah, I'm on the corner of Main Street by Moonflower, uh, and I'd like to report a domestic dispute. Okay, all right. Look, I think the problem here is that you're just, you're not understanding you're not understanding how these guys are looking at you, right? Because like, I know you think you're being nice, I know you think they're being nice, but they're not. They're being, they're being. You need, you need to pull over. Why? It's Brian, not you for need us. to pull over. There's the no police way it's are, for us. That is for us. I'm, He's I'm, right I'm, behind I'm, us. I'm going Brian, to you need don't to pull over. Wheel. Don't grab Brian, the wheel. You, you got to get out of here. are right there. I am going to pull over, all right? Oh, yes, I'm pulling I'm over. I, did, like, I told I, you that he was coming in. Yeah, you needed to pull I, over. I was pulling over no, and you, you grabbed the wheel. You don't. Shh, get. Okay, turn your engine off for me. Go ahead and set the keys on the dash for me, all right? What's your guys' names? Gabby. Brian Laundry. Gabby? Brian? Okay. What's going on? How come you're crying? I'm just crying. Uh, you've just been fighting this morning some personal issues. Can I get you to step out of the vehicle for me, ma'am? Yeah. Go ahead and hang tight for me, all right? Why don't you walk over here with me? As the female passenger separated from the male. Excuse me, sir? Yeah. Hey, good day. Hey. You have any weapons in the car? No. Uh, so what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's just like, like you get really bad OCD. And I, I was cleaning and straightening up the back of the van before, and I was apologizing to him, saying I'm sorry, I'm frustrated, and not like mean towards him, just like, I don't know. So I was saying, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm in a bad mood. It's just, I'm really stressed and I had so much work to do on my computer this morning. What do you do for a living? Well, I just quit my job to travel across the country and I'm trying to start a blog. Hmm. I, I have a blog, so I've been building my website and it's been really stressful and he doesn't even really believe I can do any of it. So that's kind of in my head. And, and I don't, I don't know, it's kind of a downer. And I don't know, this morning we were just fighting and he wouldn't let me in the car before. Why would he let you into the car? Because of the OCD? He said I need to calm down, yeah. But I'm like perfectly calm. I'm calm all the time. It just really stresses me out. And this is a rough morning. Oh, you, uh, you spoke to Gabrielle, my uh, fiance? Yeah, I spoke to her. Why don't you tell me what happened? Um, well, she just, you know, she gets worked up sometimes, and so, like, I try to, I try to keep my distance. Um, that's why I locked the car and was walking away. Um, but, so, what, what happened this morning was that she was working on her little, like, website blog and everything. And so, um, I was, uh, uh, I, you know, I was giving her time and everything, and, and um, we really had, a, like, a really nice morning, if, if anything, but she just got worked up because we were trying to get going, because we had to get her day started, because we were supposed to hike uh, arches. Gabby, you have some marks on your face. Did he hit you? We have witnesses who say they saw him hit you. Well, I, yeah, but I mean, to be honest, I, I hit him first. She says she hit him first, but. I mean, technically she's the primary aggressor, but I like a feather you need to knock this kid over. I really don't want to take her to jail over this. If she says she had no intention of doing him any injury, we don't have to call it domestic assault. We can just do a 24-hour no-contact order. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, so they took him to a hotel and said I could get him in 24 hours. Are you sure you want to? Rose. Gabby, I'm telling you, these episodes of Brian's are not going to stop happening. You don't know that, and, and this, this was just a bad fight. I'm saying you should get in your car, drive away. Come home to me. Yeah, come on, Rose. I mean it. 
So, what, what, you're saying I should just abandon him in Utah? That's what I'm saying. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry about yesterday. It's okay. Let's just forget about it. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Here, is that, is that perfect enough for you? Yeah. You know, if you're so miserable, like, why are you trying to project to everybody, like, what a wonderful life you're having? I'm, I'm not miserable. I'm just a little confused by everything. Okay. So, like, what are you confused by? Um, I don't know. It's just... Eh, it's just not as easy as I thought it was going to be, you know? Oh. Are you... Are you talking about um, the trip, or are you talking about us? I mean, both, I guess. Okay, so what you're saying is basically you thought that everything would be easier with me? Easier with us, don't you think? You can't expect everything to be sunshine all the time. I don't. Everybody has rough patches, Gabby. But you don't deal with them very well, Brian. Yeah, it's all me. But it... Well, sweetie, Brian's right about one thing. No one has a relationship where it's all fun and games. I'm kidding, Mom. It's just... It's, it's like, so messed up. It, it's, like, one second, I'm, I'm so happy and in love, and the next, he's, like, a total stranger. And, and it's so frustrating because, like, all we do is fight, and I, I've been thinking it over and over and over, and I, I just... I. I don't know, I just, I feel like, I, I don't know where this is going anymore. Well, look, you're still young. You've got plenty of time to figure things out. And it's not like you guys are married yet. I know. You know, I, I 
look back on your dad and I, and, well, as it turns out, we were better off as just friends. No, I, I get it. And I don't think we're that bad. And I don't want to put all the blame on him either. You know, like, I've, I've got my issues too, but something's definitely not there that should be. Hey, bro, I ordered water like 10 minutes ago. Okay. Here you go. Awesome. Yeah. See how easy that was? Jim could do that. <laughs> Ryan, what the hell was the matter with you? Do you know how rude that was? How long am I supposed to wait? Like. You've been in a crappy mood all day. What about it? Do you, do you really not love me anymore? Uh, I, I, I didn't say that. Of course I love you. It's just, I told you things are complicated. Okay. Well, you know that I love you, right? Yeah. Great. That's great, because then we can work on everything else, right? Yeah, maybe. Probably, but, um... Look, uh... uh what happened in Utah, uh, I can't... No, 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 We don't have to talk about it. That's over and done with. Yeah, but the it's thing over. is, though, Brian, it's, it's, it's not. Brian, you... You hit I, me. And I apologize for that. No, you didn't. I apologized. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, okay? Can we try to remember, though, that you did a little hitting on your own? Okay. Yeah? Okay, fine. And I, I admit that. But don't you think that suggests we're in, like, a toxic relationship? What is with these, like, what is with these buzzwords, huh? Like, toxic relationship. I don't know what that means. Well, what would you call it? Why do we have to call it anything? It, it, it is what it is. So why, why put a label on it? You need to stop yelling. I don't care what these people think. That, that's your problem with your blogs and your TikToks. You're like all these other girls trying to be like a walking advertisement of how great your life is. But that, that is not how the real world works, all right? It's not my fault that I sometimes, dirt is gonna get tracked into the van sometimes. I'm the real Brian. I, I can't expect me to be the, the Brian that you're just like showing off in the world. Can we get another basket of chips, please? And I'm so sorry. Hey, you don't have to look at me like this. I, I got it out of my system. It isn't about today. Okay. So, what, what is it? You scare me sometimes. Gabby, I'm... Gabby, I'm not trying to scare you. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do, Brian. You get these flashes of anger and you scare me. Look, I'm... I just, <laughs> I want to give you a hug. We had an argument, now it's over, right? Okay. Hey. Okay, all right? Okay, you're all right. You all right? Yeah? Okay, let's go. I'm really sorry. Do next? Grand Tetons? Tetons? Who said? Yeah? Hey, Gabs. Gabs, could you open this for me? Thanks. Awesome. Or you know what? We're making a really good time. I think we're gonna get to the campsite before like sunset.
you know, I was thinking about what I said back there. And like, I think I've been looking at this whole blog thing wrong. Because some of these influencers, they make like bank, you know? How many followers are you up to? I don't know. I get more every day. That's great. So like how many more till you can like monetize? I don't know. Well, I think that the stuff that you're putting out there is like, it's way better than most of the other crap, you know? Like, like the dancing and the makeovers and stuff like that. I think I get it, you know? I, I think I'm finally getting it. We're, we're, we're showing people America. Like, most people don't get to see this. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm um, just, I'm good. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, we gotta take a photograph of that, right? Come on, you in front of that? We gotta stop, we gotta stop, come on. Okay, do you wanna like, you wanna jump? No. Jump into it or no, something? just, Brian, just take the picture. Oh, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Do you mind taking a photograph of me and my fiance? Thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's great. All right, what do you think? Is that for the blog or is that for us? I don't know, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's like the whole point. I mean, like, because of the sign and everything, so. Yeah. You know, there's a really beautiful view of the mountains coming up, so you're probably going to want to get that for the blog, right? Probably. <laughs> okay, are you just not going to talk to me at all, or is it like... I am talking to you. I just don't feel like talking right now. Well, if we don't communicate, we're not going to get anywhere, well, we're so... not getting anywhere. And you suddenly pretending you're interested in the blog isn't changing that. So, what, that's it? We're just Brian, give me a minute. Not just for the scene in the restaurant or for Utah, but for everything. Look, I'm full of insecurity. I know that. I just, I think I hope that you'd never figure that out. You know, you, you, you've always been out of my league, like even back in high school. And when a girl like you tells a guy like me that he's worthy, guys like me, we just start to worry that one day you're gonna figure out the truth. So I tried, I tried really hard to be worthy of you, but I blew it. But I want you to know that I have made the decision that from now on, I will be the man that you deserve. I'm gonna get back on my meds. I'm gonna make something of myself for you because I wanna build a future together. So this, this is gonna change. And I just need you to give me a chance to prove that to you. I love you. I do. I always will.
Mom. Huh? Um, we've just been <clears throat> traveling for a few days, so, um... No, de no, Detective. We don't live in Florida. Our daughter does. We're calling you from New York. Oh, I see. Okay, how long has she been missing? I mean, we, we don't know exactly. We just know we haven't heard from her since the 27th, and that's unusual. She's not responding to anything, not for me, not for my ex-wife. Well, okay, let me have her name and address. <clears throat> well, see, that's the thing. She's not in Florida either. They've been traveling the country for the last several months. That's a problem. If she's not even in the state, there's really not much I can do. Yeah, but that's... Uh... <laughs> Look, the last we knew, she was in Wyoming. I, uh, that helps, right? It doesn't help me, but what you could do is get on the phone to Wyoming. <laughs> Who? In Wyoming? So, she's been missing a week and a half, and... We can't get anybody to help us. Like, the local police keep saying... I mean, she's been traveling the country with with her boyfriend, and... Usually, she posts something pretty much almost every day, and all of that has stopped. This is from around the 20th. And how old is she? 20... She's... She's 22. 22. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. She's an adult. She can come and go as she pleases, and she doesn't have to check in with her mom. But she does, is my point. And she always does, with the both of us. Something about this is not right. I have one. Same age. I get it. <sighs> OK. Tell me everything I need to know. Let's see if we can't find your daughter. He's already back in Florida? Since when? Almost two weeks. And Gabby was not with him. Well, what and they're only speaking through their lawyer. Their lawyer? They've already hired a lawyer? That doesn't mean anything definitively in and of itself. But you need to know what's going on. Gabby is now officially a missing person. And he is a person of interest. resident has gone missing while on a cross-country trip with her fiance. 22-year-old Gabby Petito left Florida in early July, but according to her family, she hasn't been heard from in two weeks. The disappearance of a Florida woman is raising concerns. 22-year-old Gabby Petito and her fiance, Brian Laundrie, left on a camping adventure cross-country, but only he returned. That is what we have so far from the various local law enforcement agencies. So at this time, I'm going to allow Joe, Gabby's dad, to come up and say a few words. Thank you. OK. Hi. What I need from everyone here is help, because the goal is still not met, and the goal is to bring Gabby home safe. I'm asking help from everyone here. I'm asking help from everyone at home. I'm asking help from the parents of Brian. You know, there's a, there's a tip line that you can call in anonymously. Whatever you can do to make sure my daughter comes home, I'm asking for that help. There is nothing. Thank you. Uh, what is Brian's side of the story? Brian Laundry continues to exercise his Fifth Amendment rights to remain silent. All I can tell you is that two people went on a trip 
and one of them returned. And that person who returned isn't providing us any information. At this time, I want to read a statement on behalf of the Petito family to Brian Laundry. If you or your family have any decency left, please tell us where Gabby is located. Tell us if we are even looking in the right place. All we want is for Gabby to come home. Please help us make that happen. We haven't been able to sleep or eat, and our lives are falling apart. Dramatic video of missing person Gabby Petito and her fiance Brian Laundry has just been made available in this exclusive first look. And it's been really stressful and he doesn't really believe I can do any of it, so that's kinda in my head and I don't know, he's just kind of a downer. I don't know, this morning we were just fighting and he wouldn't let me in the car before. Yeah. Why wouldn't he let you into the car? She's Nails crying. Down. He's laughing. Yeah. The couple were apparently pulled over after a 911. Don't you guys see what's going on? Incident of domestic abuse. In a story that has captured national attention, everyone seems to be asking the same question. Where is Gabby? when they bring him out, ooh, and go tight on the cuffs. Is Brian under arrest? Did he tell you where Gabby is? What are you charging him with? All right, listen. An arrest warrant was issued for Brian Laundry because it is believed that he used Gabby Petito's debit card without authorization. So you are arresting him? Folks, Brian isn't here. Well, where is he? everybody? Now, according to his parents, Brian left a few days ago. And no one has any idea where he is. Tell us about your friendship with Gabby. What kinds of things did you do? Uh, we would pretty much just hang out and chill, and she would follow me everywhere. Uh, we had this joke that um, she was my, um, uh, what do we call her? Uh, my emotional service human. <laughs> and because she would just always be. I'm sorry, what is it like? Thank you. Uh, on the outside, he could be very charismatic. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that Gabby loves him. But, you know, just like any couple, like they had their arguments. Brian is not talking to the police. What is your message to him? If he just gave us any bit of information, anything that would, they would give us a place to start. I just want to find my friend. So now, right there, you'll see it. Brian's mother is heading to the shed in their backyard. Right here, you can see that she wants to make sure no one's watching. And there, you can see him. Brian's in the shed. It's clear they're keeping him back there. I don't know why the hell the cops aren't taking this seriously. I think all of them are wrong. I think she's still alive and out there someplace. I think they just got into another big-ass fight. I mean, this guy's a hothead, but he doesn't look like a killer to me. Now, you can always tell a killer by his eyes, always. Brian's got eyes more like you'd see in a Wall Street bad guy. I could see him driving away, leaving her stuck by herself, but nah, he'd never actually kill her. On August 29th, my boyfriend and I actually picked up Brian at Grand Teton National Park sometime at night. 
Uh, he said that he needed to go to Jackson, and we said hop in because we were going there. We made small talk, and he said that he had been camping for multiple days without his fiance. He did mention his fiance and said that she was back at their van working on their social media page. Um, and then all of a sudden, he just freaks out. He's like, I gotta get out right now. <laughs> so we pulled over at the Jackson Dam, and he kind of like hurried out of the car. Um, he had some scruff, but for someone who had been camping for several days, he didn't look dirty, he didn't smell dirty, and that part was kind of weird. Weeding out all the nut jobs, we've got several eyewitness accounts that are clicking together to give us maybe a useful narrative. Let's talk about the couple that said they picked up Brian Laundry hitchhiking. And let's assume for the moment he did kill this poor girl. He has just killed his fiance. He's panicking. He decides to just leave everything behind, get the hell out of there. Okay. He's picked up by Miranda Baker and her boyfriend. He makes up an alibi about camping by himself while Gabby is back at the van alone. Maybe his story is going to be some stranger found her out there, killed her while he was away. Who knows? But at some point on his way out of Dodge, he realizes this is a bad plan because he has left all the evidence behind. As she tells it, he freaks and decides to bail. Six minutes later, he gets another ride, this time taking the driver said he was willing to take him further into the camp, which is a huge spread out sight. But he says he'd rather walk. Wouldn't want them to drive him right to the murder scene, would he? He buries her. He cleans the site best he can. He packs up everything that would show he was ever there. And he drives off. Two days later, he arrives back in Florida all by his lonesome. So if these witnesses are credible, and I believe they are, if Laundrie did in fact kill Gabby, she'd be somewhere out here in these five or six square miles. Live in four, three. Searchers are trying to keep up hope, but so far the search for Gabby Petito remains a frustrating dead end. Officials from the National Park Service, as well as local law enforcement agencies, say they will continue ground surveys as long as daylight allows. Our team three. We spotted something about a half mile east of your location. A patch bird that you might want to take a look at. Roger that. What do we got? Look. Wyoming Command Center in search for missing woman Gabby Batito, and I've just received some very sad news. I've just been informed that a search party has come across the remains of a young woman, and by all indications, it appears to be the body of Gabby Batito.
Since Brian Laundrie's whereabouts are still unknown, there's been speculation he may have received help from his parents to avoid questioning. And his parents are still... You need to tell your clients that they're coming dangerously close to an obstruction charge. Brian's parents, as I've said before, have no knowledge of their son's whereabouts. Right. His mother just happened to know where her son parked his Mustang in 25,000 acres of wilderness. It would appear so. Did you read the coroner's report? Of course I read it. Official cause of death, manual strangulation and throttling. I'm waiting for a point. The point? Is this is who you are protecting? Oh, hi. Um, I, um, I know who you are, Rose. I just, uh, I just can't shake this feeling that I have in my gut that there was something else I could have done. There wasn't. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I mean, I knew her relationship. Oh. <clears throat> do, you, do you think she would have let you stop her? <laughs> no. Yeah, so, what could you have done? Look, Gabby, she, uh, <laughs> she lived her life exactly how she wanted to. You know, that's part of what we all loved about her. Some of these, uh, the thoughts that you've been having, they've, uh, they've been torturing me too, but we can't let them. You know, we're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be missing her for the rest of our lives. So we have to figure out uh, a way to live with that. How? Just by remembering the good. I mean, it's it's uh, it's 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 rough. It's going to be rough. <laughs> but there are there are a lot of us, Rose, and we're gonna get through it together. I just have a lot of this anger that I don't know what to do with, and that son of a bitch is still out there. Yeah. Well, for now. Specs for Gabby. But I don't want you to be sad. Gabby didn't live her life that way. She always made people feel welcome. She, she treated people with respect. She cared. She genuinely cared. My daughter lived a short life. But she lived an inspiring one. I, I want you to look at the pictures around this room, and I want you to be inspired by them. We've gotten emails from around the country from people that Gabby touched, people who want to live their lives bigger, people who want to... <laughs> they want to get rid of the things that are holding them back. And that's the most important thing. If you're in a relationship, that might not be the best thing for you. Leave it. 
Leave it now. Gabby's the most amazing person I've ever met. I could not be more proud of her as a... as a father. I really am sorry. I'm going to... You'd probably let me do it, wouldn't you? You'd let me do it if you were here. Okay. I mean, that's the question, isn't it? <laughs> what finally made Brian snap? I'm gonna get back on my meds. I'm gonna make something of myself for you because I, I wanna build a future together. So things are gonna change, okay? And I just need you to give me the chance to prove that. Brian? I love you. I do. I always will. But we're not good together. No, Gabby, Listen no, to me. No, no, Listen. that's. Listen to me. You're not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. It's just this trip has shown me what it would be like if we stayed together. And all we do is fight. It's not true. You don't, that's not all we Brian, do. We... we fight every day. And I, I don't want my life to be like that. And I, I don't I don't know what I want it to be exactly, but not not that. And I, oh, I You suggested this whole trip. I I thought you wanted to travel and see the world together, but it feels like you just want me all to yourself. You know most girls they, they would they would love that kind of attention. Well not this one. Ryan, it's not your fault, okay? It's not. You don't have to want the same things that I do. You know, I think, I think a lot of the time I, I was projecting what what I wanted onto you, and that was selfish. And I'm I'm sorry, that was my fault. I'm I'm really sorry. Gabby, Gabby, I need you to think about this. Ryan, Ryan, this is all I have been thinking about for weeks. It isn't fair to either of us to hold on to something that we know isn't working. Brian, you have to know it isn't working. I think you should take the van back to Florida and I can get on a bus back home to New York. Brian? Come on, Brian, talk to me. Hey. Hey, Ryan, it's not, it's not your fault, okay? It's not. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, okay? It's okay. It's okay. No. Ryan? 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 Ryan! that made the search for Brian Laundrie in the call to nature reserve so difficult have receded. And Brian's parents are now finally seeming to cooperate with the authorities. They've mentioned several places in the reserve where they think Brian may have taken refuge. Searchers are now examining those areas. Over here. You want to know what I got to say about him? What's there to say? Bastard admitted what he did in that notebook they found. Like there was any doubt. Brian Landry was a coward. I mean, how else do you define a guy like that? He destroyed a thing of beauty that brought nothing but joy to people. 
Then he ran away and took the easy way out. He won't be missed. Gabby, on the other hand, she... She'll be missed. I have learned so many things on this trip so far. I have learned that my country is beautiful. I mean, look at this. I've learned that the people are beautiful. But the most positive thing I've learned is that we live in a really good world. I mean, yeah, bad stuff happens, but a lot of really good stuff happens too. Pinch use the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs>